Xbox streamers, this is how you stream your Xbox to your PC and OBS all without a capture card. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> so on your PC, you want to go ahead and download the Xbox app by going to your Microsoft store, then typing in Xbox in the search box. Go ahead and click Xbox and download it from here. Once you have it downloaded, you should have this page come up. You will be able to sign in. Make sure that you're signing into the same Xbox account that you're signed into on your Xbox console. So on your Xbox, you want to go to your Xbox settings by scrolling all the way over to your icon here and going to settings. And in settings, you want to go down to devices and connections and then go to remote features and make sure you enable remote features this checkbox right here is checked on. You should come up to this page here. If you're on Wi-Fi, you know, this definitely will work better if it's on uh, Ethernet. Once you set up your Xbox's remote play, you're going to go back into the Xbox app on your PC and head up to the top where you see your username. You're going to see this console button here. You want to go ahead and click that and then connect to your Xbox. Awesome. And that's pretty much half the battle. Now we're going to jump into OBS and get that set up. So in OBS, you're going to prob probably have a blank scene or just like one scene there. You want to go ahead and add a new scene if you don't already have one. I already have one. I called it Game Capture. And so inside of this scene, we're going to add a new source and add a window capture. Hit OK. And then the first app for me that pops up is the actual Xbox app. But if you don't see it, you want to go into window drop down box and you should find your Xbox app sitting right there. Now, this is an important part. You want to go ahead and uncheck your cursor and check mark capture audio. It's currently in beta right now and make sure you resize this to the proper size that it should be. Do that by right clicking the source and then going to transformation and going to fit to screen. You can also do that by pressing control F. And so now we have it set up here in OBS and you can actually see that there's these black bars around here. That's because my uh, Xbox capture is not in full screen. So you want to go ahead and do that by going up to these three little, um, actually you can't see my cursor. So you, you go up to this little symbol up here. If you don't see that, you want to go ahead and just click the screen and then you click these six dots here and it should slide in just like that. And you want to click the three dots that you see on the side and go ahead and toggle full screen. And there you go. You will be in full screen just like this. There's actually two ways, depending on what you want to do to listen to your game audio, listen to your game audio with Bluetooth headphones or your headphones connected directly to your PC. Or what probably most of you want to do is connect your gaming headset to your controller like you usually do when you have like a party or a game chat. And you can do that. All you have to do is make sure your controller is paired uh, to your Xbox. Unlike PlayStation's remote play, this won't stop the remote play. So you can actually pair your controller back to the console and play like that. And it's pretty one to one right now. My uh, my actual controller is paired to the console. So it's actually one to one. And I'm I'm not having any type of latency issues. This is like, just, like, there's like no lag. It's like I'm playing it directly on the console. But I'm doing it through the remote. And all you have to do is just plug your headset into the controller like usual, and you will be able to talk to your party chat. You will also be able to talk to game chat just like normal. If it doesn't work, just disconnect the uh, remote play and reconnect back to it. Unplug the controller, just turn it off, turn it on kind of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> it fixed it for me when I tried this the first time and it didn't work for a second, but it picked up my mic and everything after I just reset everything. The only thing that it actually doesn't do is capture game chat. It captures your party, but it doesn't capture your game chat. So there's no workaround that I know of to be able to capture your game chat with this method. The only thing I can think of is using an Elgato and the Chatlink Pro. There's a video that I did actually on that uh, whole setup, but that's using a capture card. So if you if you do the window capture here. And you ended up and you end up checking the capture audio or unchecking it. Yeah, look, look at that. It just disappears. That's crazy. In order to fix it, all you have to do is go back to your you're not going to be able to see me do this. So I'm going to go ahead and just fix it real fast. You want to go into your Xbox uh, remote play window here and just pull out this little tab here. And you want to go ahead and toggle on and off your full screen and it should fix that weird issue where it just disappears. Um, 
Yes. So anytime you uncheck, yeah, anytime you uncheck any of these, actually, it will just, it resets the layer and you can't get it back unless you delete it. But you can actually get it back by just going and toggling on and off the full screen. Yep. And that brings it back every single time. So that's a fix for you guys troubleshooting in real time in this video. But um, that is how you do that. Cool. So that is how you stream your Xbox to OBS without a capture card. If this was helpful for you, go ahead and like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Also, I have a free community for you guys to squad up in and get a lot of resources for streaming and, and content creation. I'd love to see you in there. Go into the description and hop in. It is completely free. Also, there is a free course in there where I show you my exact system to making videos that continuously get views. This system is what I did to get me to my first thousand subscribers and like monetization in like a month. It's all free for you. It's inside the community. So now that you have OBS set up, you probably want to go ahead and get your alerts set up. So I made a video over here where I show you exactly how to set up your Twitch alerts and your YouTube alerts using stream elements. That's how I do my own alerts. So go ahead and check that video out and I will see you over there.